Good day. Welcome to King William Was Everything. Today, I want to go over my Tinker board, the, the Tinker OS. Uh, I've been running this fellow for quite a while with um, uh, Android on there. Uh, fantastic luck with it. Uh, does everything I really like, but I also want to use the Tinker OS. So I bought another card with a little uh, adapter. And I originally had 1.8 on there, and it was working so so. It would lock up every now and then. I thought, well, maybe, you know, it's still uh, kind of early release. And uh, when 1.9 came out, I put that on there, and, and I had some bad luck. You know, a uh, display would kind of lock, lock up once in a while. Uh, sometimes the, the, uh, the PC would freeze up. It's like, well, that's kind of odd. So anyway, I wiped it out, put it back on, kind of the same results. Well, um, I said, well, maybe it's just the 1.9 is a beta, so I'll, I'll try uh, Diet Pi or Ubuntu, something like that. And bad luck with them. Some would boot up to a certain point, um, like um, uh, Armbian, which is basically Ubuntu. Um, I get into the first part you do on Ubuntu is you change the, the um, root password. Well, it would, you know, like it, you put in the uh, password and put in your new password, and it would say something about the PAM files messed up, something like that. It's like, well, that's kind of messed up. I, I can't figure out why this guy will not. I mean, you should be able to easily change the password because you need to put the new password in to get the thing to boot up into Ubuntu. I could never get it to do it. Uh, I tried um, oh, I tried Diet Pie, and I've, I've used it before, and I've tried it, and then it booted up, and then it downloads all stuff and worked great. Would not even boot off there. I think I was just getting a steady, like the little yellow light. Uh, where's he at? Yeah. The little activity light, uh, yellow activity light would blink. Uh, four times and four times and four times. It's like, well, huh, something's messed up with this guy. Well, I put back in the Google, uh, you know, the Android, and boot it up. Works fine again. So I know um, I took out Mr. SD card. Come on out, baby. And I tried to format it. And I was getting kind of goofy errors. So there was like it... Uh, would say it was right protected. Usually when you see these guys that say they're right protected, when they say they're right protected, you're screwed. Uh, sometimes you can go in partition managers and format it and stuff like that. Uh, probably one of the clues as to why this guy failed is you can see what brand name there is on here. Well, there is no brand name on it. I went cheap instead of buying like a SanDisk or a Evo. And I don't know if you'll be able to read this guy. Probably not. But basically, it says micro SD. So, no branding. It was just a cheap, you know, $10, 32 gig card. Uh, that was with the adapter. And she failed. I've, I've tried different partition managers. I've tried uh, pretty much everything I possibly do to get this guy working again. Uh, the partitions that are in there, you can kind of delete them, they just come back. Um, uh, you can't format it. You really can't do anything with this. So, I'm going to take this as a loss. And I. Uh, Went out and I bought a SanDisk uh, 32 gig SD card. So at least I know I have a quality card, not some cheap crap, you know. So that's a, a good uh, warning to people. Now, if you're going to buy an SD card, um, don't go cheap, especially if something like this where it's going to be really um, worked pretty hard. I mean, for probably it would have lasted if you put it in a in a, like a camera or something like that. Just took pictures with it, where it's not doing a lot of writing. It might last a lot longer, but you know. Uh, Linux does a lot of reading and writing, and it just this thing just failed. So, you know, get yourself a good card. Don't go cheap. You know, this was probably nine bucks, and a nice SanDisk one or even the Evo one. I think is thirteen, fourteen bucks. So, to say three bucks, I wasted a lot of time. I spent probably eight hours trying to get this guy working. It's like, well, I know the the Android works, but the um, uh, Tinker OS would not work. It's like, well, that's that's crazy. I know I've used it. I ran it. And, you know, I thought, well, maybe it's heat. Uh, I tried different things. And eventually, you know, after formatting this thing a couple times and loading the OS was on there, it crapped out. So don't go cheap. Get a good SD card. Have a great day.